Good evening, Mr. and Ms. Internet and all our ships at sea. It's Thursday. It's time once again for the YouTube Live edition of the Freeway Forum. Coming to you live and direct from the world famous 405 Freeway in beautiful sunny Southern California. My name is Atari. This is a free-form discussion hosted by me, but it is driven by you. Yes, you friends, it is your comments that make this show possible to keep this show rolling. We have a little bit of a topic, and then we'll talk about that. We'll tell some stories. We'll exchange a few jokes and glances, and we will just have us a good time here. So uh, as we get started here, appreciate you if you go ahead and like this video and, uh, you know, do us a solid and share this with your social networks so that uh, so that we can get as many people in here as possible and have us a, a rollicking good conversation so uh, so today's uh, today's topic I was I was thinking about this the other day um, I was listening to a few live albums and I was really enjoying it and um, wait well, you can't hear any can't, you can't hear anything it's, is there a problem can you not hear me Am I, am I having trouble? Anyway, um, let me know if you can't hear me. Oh, okay. okay. So, uh, anyway, so yeah, so I was listening to a few live albums, and, uh, you know, I was thinking, I was going back and I was thinking about all the different, uh, different concerts I've been to, and all the different shows I've been to, and, uh, you know, some really epic, epic shows, some fantastic shows, just move you, man. The music gets in you, and it just moves you. And, uh, so I wanted to ask you guys, I wanted to ask the wisdom of the crowd here, um, so tell me about some of the epic shows that you've been to, some of the epic concerts that you've, uh, you've seen, you've witnessed, you've been at, you've attended, um, and, uh, you know, some of the most memorable shows you've been to, they don't have to be concerts, they can be plays, they can be, uh, they can be films, uh, any, any sort of, you know, big venue kind of show, and of course it doesn't even have to be a big venue, I've, I've been to a handful of club shows that were just phenomenal, and, uh, yeah, I used to be in the, real big in the music scene, especially in Atlanta, I was, I was kind of, uh, kind of into that music scene there, I, uh, you know, off the top of my head, really enjoy there there's a little band out of a uh, little rockabilly kind of kind of third wave swing band uh, out of uh, or not third wave so I'm thinking third wave ska uh, swing revival band out of Atlanta called uh, called the Blacktop Rockets and they used to play at the Star Bar all the time I really enjoyed them always enjoyed watching their shows always enjoyed going down to their shows uh, whenever at the Star Bar. Incidentally, um, uh, those of you familiar with uh, with Dennis, uh, Driving Me Crazy's channel, um, he has done a, a series on Puddles Pity Party, and um, the guy who discovered Puddles the Clown, uh, Mike, Big Mike, uh, God, what's his last name? Mike, uh, it starts with a G. I, I can't remember it off the top of my head right now. Uh, Big Mike used to be a bartender at the Star Bar, and I remember seeing Big Mike at some of these shows, uh, you know, hanging out and just, uh, you know, he, because he was working there as a bartender, so, uh, I, I had Big Mike pour me plenty of beers in my day, so, uh, so it's cool to see him, uh, cool to see him doing well, uh, managing, uh, Puddles and Clown there, and, uh, and we hope him much, we wish him much success in his, uh, in his future endeavors, uh, So anyway, um, so yeah, the Blacktop Rock is always a lot of fun. But that's not like the most epic show I've been to. Um, no, oh, pardon me. It's my cough drop. But the most, it's hard to, it's hard to really say the most epic, epic show I've been to. I, I've been to a lot of really fun You know what? Um, I gotta say, the one of the most uh, one of the most interesting, one of the most epic shows I've been to in recent memory. Uh, I actually went. This was at uh, this was 
was up at UCLA at the uh, at the I forgot the the hall where they they have the it's basically it's an old uh, it's an old uh, performing arts hall very old building well not very old but you know, old building uh, so they're performing one of their performing arts halls and uh, they had. A, American Youth Symphony Orchestra, if I remember. Uh, professional level. I mean, they are, they're top notch. These kids are amazing. And uh, they did Back to the Future as the movie was playing. So it was, you were watching the movie on the, on the big screen there. And you had a full orchestra playing the score as the movie was going. Oh my god, it was amazing. Holy crap. And you know like at the end there, the, the big climactic scene where they're they're uh, they're getting ready for the, uh, the, the lightning bolt on the clock tower and they got the DeLorean, you know, down the street, you know, and, and you know, it's a very, very high tension, you know, super tense, you know, uh, moment like, and the, the little clock on the dashboard's going off and Marty's like, come on, come on, trying to get the thing to start. And, uh, and, uh, and and Doc's up there, and he's trying to get the trying to get the wires, you know, the cables put back together because it came apart uh, with the tree falling on it. And then the music is dun 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 Come get quick, get some headphones, get some headphones. Uh, anyway, so uh, oh my gosh, this concert is freaking amazing. So, and, and you're there and you're watching it, and uh, you know, you're just shifting gear. I mean, th this was like, oh my, like, I seriously, like, it, it was that one of those moments that clicks in your brain, like, holy crap. Uh, this is this is cinema. This is how cinema works. How the visuals and the music and the acting all come together to create this amazing thing. And it just reminded me how much I love this film and how much I, I love uh, Robert Zemeckis and Steven Spielberg and uh, uh, Alan Silvestri's you know, music and, and, and just the, the whole thing coming together. Uh, Bob Gale. Uh, all these guys, you know, coming together and just making something amazing. And, uh, you know, he drops it down, you know, he shifts it down to the third. And, oh, my. Oh, I'm having, I got goosebumps, man. I got goosebumps just thinking about this thing. Holy crap, that was an, oh, God, that was an amazing show. It was an amazing, 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 amazing show. Um... So I, I don't know if you guys have had any shows like that that just stick out in your mind as just just being like transcendental, uh, for lack of better words. Uh, just uh, just a great great experience. I want to know about these. Drop me drop me comments. Let me know, and uh, and we'll talk about them. Uh, I saw Chris there. He commented that he uh, he wanted to go to a John Williams concert. Uh, I actually. Uh, I actually went to see John Williams, uh, the Barbie and I went to see John Williams at the Hollywood Bowl up here uh, last, it was towards the end, of, it was like the, the end of the summer concert season at the Hollywood Bowl, and uh, it, it was phenomenal. Uh, Williams is, is a great talent, uh, Williams is absolutely amazing, and he's still doing amazing work, and he is still the maestro of the movies. Um, the funny thing about that concert, it was a, it was a double billing. It was John Williams and David. What is his name? He's he's actually he was actually a student of John Williams. John Williams taught at Cal Arts or USC, one of the the big music schools here in uh, the LA area. Um, and Williams taught there, and this guy was a student under Williams and he went on and he is so like Williams is you know you got Williams and Alan Silvestri and uh, Danny Elfman and uh, James Horner uh, well you know, rest his soul uh, the late James Horner the late great James Horner um, uh, you've got 
but uh, you've got all these guys that are they are the composers so they're they're cinema uh, they're uh, cinema composers and so they uh, write the music they write the music and they get the uh, they get sort of the demo work done um, so they can so that the editors can work with the uh, the editors have something to work with so they can do all the cues and things like that. And this guy, he's actually the compo... Uh, sorry, not the composer. He's the maestro. He's the conductor for studio. And... going in there conducting the studio orchestra. So that's not what they do. They actually uh, oh my gosh. Came out. It was all Williams music, and it was. I mean, it was just. Uh, g good grief, man! It was electric. It really was, and it was. It was more an audience electricity than it was a performance electricity, which is okay. I love an electric audience. I love that. I love that feeling, you know, of being there amongst all these people and enjoying the music and just loving, loving the experience. Uh, this big, big, you know, sort of community experience there. This communal experience that all these people there are having. Um, it was, it was really neat. They, they brought the house lights down. Uh, well, house lights, you know, the, the big floodlights they have outside. <laughs> And they brought everything down after the intermission, and as soon as Williams took the stage, I mean, it was all oh, the little plastic toy lightsabers lit up, and they're waving them around. Ah! So, so it was. Uh, it, this was right after. Uh, this was the summer after. Um, after episode seven came out, after um, uh, the Force Awakens, after the Force Awakens came out. And uh, just, I mean, I mean, it was electric. It, I mean, it was all Star Wars music, almost all Star Wars music, which was fine. It was fine. I, I was a little disappointed. They didn't play. They didn't play Superman. They didn't play 1941. Um, they didn't play, you know, like the Olympics. Well, you know, they're not going to play the Olympics because it's not the Olympics. But um, uh, no Jaws. No. None of like his like back catalog stuff. It was all it was all Harry Potter and Star Wars, which is fine. I love the music to Harry Potter and Star Wars, but there's only so when when you're when you're a trained musician, you, you look at uh, you look at Williams' music, and while it is epic music, it's all very much the same structure. Uh, it's sort of his uh, it's sort of his. Uh, his uh, his touch, his little uh, his little uh, signature, if you will, that he uses the same chord progressions. He uses the same key, um, and but I mean, it's still great. It's great music. But there's only so many times you can hear da 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 You know when he's playing Harry Potter, or there's only so many times you can hear da 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 da. You know for Star Wars. Uh, da, 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 you know that 
Um, and if you notice, they're variations on each other. If you listen really closely, the, the, the two themes are variations on each other. So I, I wished that there had been more uh, variety. I, I, I would have killed to hear the Raiders March. I wanted to hear the Raiders March so badly, and, and it didn't play, and I was disappointed. But, uh, but I was... Um, I did love the uh, I did love the show. I did enjoy the show, and uh, it was a it was a great experience. Uh, uh, Silo there said I saw that um, you'd love to go see John Lennon. I would love to go see John Lennon uh, as long as Yoko Ono's not there. I cannot stand Yoko Ono. Um, I could get into why I don't like her, but I think that's probably a moot point because uh, everybody's probably pretty sure that uh, that. Uh, Everybody's probably pretty sure of why I don't like her. But, uh, yeah, Yoko Ono is kind of, uh, she's like persona non grata for me. I would love to go see, uh, I'd love to have seen John Lennon. I'd love to have seen John Lennon at like a little, small, um, like a club show. I'd love to do that. Um, and I'd love to see, uh, I'd really love to see Paul McCartney and or Ringo. Uh, I'd love to see one of them. Uh, I would have enjoyed George Harrison. Hell, I would have loved the... Uh, I would have loved the, uh, the Beatles, you know, in general, you know, watch the Beatles before they broke up. Why are you the only one watching? I don't know. Share this video. Share this video. Get more people in. And, and then you won't be the only one watching. I, I can't share the video anymore because I'm driving and I've already shared it twice. Uh, need to get more people in, you know. Tell people. Tell your friends. Bring them here. Tell us. Get us into this, uh, get us into this conversation here. But, um... Uh, Anyway, so, uh, yeah, so Williams was amazing. Uh, John Lennon would be amazing. Uh, every time I think about John Lennon in concert, I, I always go back to, uh, it was John Lennon and the Plastic, Oco, uh, Plastic Ono Band. Uh, and you can find this video, it's all over YouTube, you can find this video. It's, uh, it's John Lennon and the Plastic Ono, and they're playing Memphis with Chuck Berry, because Chuck Berry and, uh, and John Lennon were, were buddies at that point. <laughs> and they're honest as information, get in touch. You know, they're do, doing Memphis, Tennessee. And uh, and they go into this, you know, they go into a little breakdown and, you know, the little guitar solo and, and uh, no, that's all right, buddy. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. Uh, appreciate your comment. Appreciate your support here. Yeah, like I said, you know, share this with your buddies. Share this with your friends. Throw this over on the Facebook. Throw this over on your Twitter, whatever you use. Um, I don't know if you share it on Instagram or Snapchat or whatever the kids are on these days, but, uh, but I appreciate you sharing as much as you can. I appreciate your, appreciate your feedback, man. I, I do. I do appreciate that. I appreciate the support. Um, but, uh, yeah, so... John Lennon and Plastic Ono and Chuck Berry and they're, they're playing and they get to the, the point where they have the little breakdown and they're going into the guitar solos and hang on a minute they're going into the guitar solos and then all of a sudden like Yoko Ono grabs a microphone and she's like <laughs> on the microphone and, <laughs> and you just see Chuck Berry go what the you know oh man it's uh, it was hilarious after this show you can go uh, you can go look that up Look that up on on the YouTube. And you can see what I'm talking about. It's <laughs> Chuck Berry's eyes are just like, Rrr! but uh, <laughs> it was uh, it was hilarious. Oh man! So, uh, so yeah. no, I appreciate you. Got to you got to support the little guy. You got to support the little guy. Uh, Chris says he's not good with uh, he's not good with uh, the social media or singers and bands that's okay I'm, I don't ask anybody to to be uh, to be great with it but uh, I know that if uh, I know everybody's got a little you know everybody's got somebody they would want to see like everybody's I, I feel like everybody's got a favorite band you know you know even if it's just like a little nobody band that nobody's ever heard of um, you know even if it's just you know your local uh, even if it's just your local your local little uh, you know tailgate symphony or whatever you know it's all good, you know. You doesn't have to be a big epic show. It doesn't. It doesn't really have to be, you know, anything big and, and spectacular and bombastic. You know, we're just talking about having a good time. We're talking about, uh, you know, just going out and experiencing uh, music in uh, in person. Uh, I saw Barbie popped in there. How you doing? I don't know. I'm on my way home. Anyway, uh, just got through talking about the uh, 
just got through talking about the uh, the Hollywood Bowl show that we went to and uh, Back to the Future. And uh, Barbie says she went to go see Linkin Park. Now, I was never a big Linkin Park fan. Um, but I understand that a lot of people are and a lot of people were very upset uh, with... Uh, Chester Chester Bennington is that his name? Uh, very upset with his uh, his uh, untimely passing. Um. <laughs> Barbie says the, <laughs> she's talking about the uh, the uh, the Hollywood Bowl show. She's like, oh yeah, the one where I got really drunk and I couldn't hear anything. <laughs> yes, yes, Barbie got Barbie got wine drunk. <laughs> at that show because you the cool thing about the Hollywood Bowl is you can bring in uh, picnic baskets and you can bring in alcohol and they, they let you bring it in so we had like we had two bottles of wine and, uh, and some like cheese and uh, some meats and crackers and things like that and it was yes it was amazing it was it was awesome yeah, we had a we had a bottle of wine each it was great <laughs> And the beauty of it was we took a shuttle bus. We took a shuttle from Torrance all the way up to Hollywood. So we had plenty of time, plenty of time to sober up on the way home. It was great. We'd sit back and let somebody else do the driving. It was fantastic. Fantastic. So uh, so we've heard about Lincoln Park. We were talking about uh, John Williams. Uh, John Williams, uh, you know, the Back to the Future live concert, the... Uh, uh, John Lennon, the Beatles. Yeah, I'm trying to think what other, what other really awesome concerts. Uh, I, I've been speaking of club shows. The Barbie, that is my, uh, that is my better half right there, my better three quarters. And uh, yeah, she, uh, she has a, uh, she has a YouTube channel as well, Barbie's Life. Uh, she is the Barbie, yes. <laughs> Uh, her YouTube channel is Barbie's Life, uh, where she does uh, she does more vloggy kind of stuff. Uh, she's a fashion uh, retailer. She sells uh, women's clothing, uh, direct sales women's clothing. So she does a lot of that kind of stuff, and uh, and she has videos, uh, you know, travel videos and and things like that. Uh, Chris, the Back to the Future live concert was absolutely amazing. There, there is a uh, there's a group that does it. Hi, Silo. I see you. I, I know. I, I was answering your question. She was answering your question. The um, there, There's a group that does the... They, I forgot... Um, I forgot the name of the... Uh, the name of the, the production company that does this. But they, they it's a touring group. They, they do... Uh, uh, they do different... Uh, different movies and different scores with different orchestras all over the country. And, you know... East Coast, West Coast, all over the place. So, if uh, if you if you can, I mean, you can do a Google search and find it. Um, you know, like movie, music and movies or something like that. Woo! Um, so you can find it and uh, and find one near you. Uh, it doesn't matter what movie they're showing. If you can find one near you, uh, take my word for it. Go and see it. Go go take the kids. Uh, it, it, is, it is a phenomenal experience, and you will not regret it. Uh, especially if it's a movie that you really like. Uh, Back to the Future just happens to be like one of my favorite movies ever. So, uh, so yeah. Uh, yes, definitely, definitely Google it. Uh, Ricar uh, uh, Robert Wagner. Robert Wagner. What does Robert Wagner do? I can't. I can't place Robert Wagner off the top of my head. And this is one of those moments where I, I am ashamed to say I'm a music guy, but I, I don't know Robert Wagner. Um, so you're gonna have to enlighten me a little bit. Maybe hum a few bars or something. Um, you know, like I say, everybody's got. Uh, everybody has a weakness, and uh, not everybody knows everybody. So that's that's okay. And that's why we have the. Uh, that's why we have the freeway forum is uh, to get as many different voices represented as possible we, you know we come together we all talk you know there there are certain things that even if it's not our bag even if it's not our thing you know there's certain things that can bring us together you know you know maybe we maybe we all haven't been to all these different epic concerts maybe we all haven't had that kind of experience or had that uh, had that uh, the fortune of being able to to go to these experiences but uh, but to, to sit around and talk about the, the types of experiences we like or, 
or things that would be really cool and it motivates us and it gets us uh, you know it gets us kind of up and thinking about things and, and wanting to experience new things and try stuff out and uh, and learn from each other we kind of find out things you know from each other we find out about oh Robert Wagner oh the actor Robert Wagner oh good grief <laughs> I'm thinking that it was like you know because there's uh, you know, because there's, uh, there's bands, there's like all these bands that are, uh, that are named like after different, uh, different actors, you know, like, uh, so I was thinking it was a band called Robert Wagner. Um, yeah, that would be cool to see like a show if, you know, like if he was doing like a one man show or something like that, that would be kind of cool to see. Um, Jeff Goldblum, actually, I really, really want to go see him. Uh, he is Jeff Goldblum's actually a jazz pianist, and uh, and he does uh, he travels around with a little band uh, up and down, more or less up and down California, uh, between here and San Francisco, and he does he does these little club shows where he's just playing jazz. You know, he's just sitting behind the sitting behind the piano playing jazz. Uh, Goldblum's uh, you talking about Goldblum still doing comedy? I, I don't know. I didn't know he did comedy. He just. He's Jeff Goldblum. <laughs> the man is comedy. What are you talking about? Um, so, so that would be a uh, that'd be kind of cool to go see. Yeah, the other. I don't know which bald guy you're talking about. Uh, which bald guy are you talking about, Barbie? Uh, what else? What else is a uh, Jeff Goldblum is bald now. He used to have like lots of like curly hair back in the. He's a guy from Jurassic Park and, and Independence Day. You know Jeff Goldblum. Um, but uh, anyway, uh, if um, oh uh, another another great. Uh, Another great concert. This is this is a funny story I'm gonna tell. I don't. I'm running out of time. Uh, I'm running out of time here, but I'm gonna I'm gonna extend out so I can tell this little story. Um, so uh, my favorite band, my favorite band of all time. Oh, you're talking about Howie Mandel. Okay. Uh, the other bald guy. Yes, he still does comedy. That would be kind of a fun show to see. I've seen him. Uh, I saw his HBO specials back in the day, and he's he's pretty damn hilarious. <laughs> It's crazy that he had a kid's show, but I guess every raunchy comedian had a kid's show back in the day. Um, anyway, so uh, my favorite band of all time is They Might Be Giants uh, out of Brooklyn, New York. Uh, Brooklyn's Ambassadors of Love, They Might Be Giants, College Rock, uh, Nerd Rock, they're kind of the guys who, who invented Nerd Rock. Uh, very influential on that, uh, that sort of East Coast uh, college rock kind of scene. And um, so I went to see them. I went to see them in like 2001 or 2002 on the bricks in Atlanta uh, at Centennial Park, uh, Centennial Olympic Park. And uh, just a flat out phenomenal show. Loved it, loved it. Uh, it was 01, 02, 03, somewhere in that neighborhood. Uh, and I took my sister, I took my baby sister. She was 10 years old at the time, or roughly 10. I guess she was 9 or 10, so yeah, this is 01, 02. Um, and uh, took her to the concert, and I mean, it was just a packed house. Great, great lawn concert, just a fun, fun show. And um, of course, I was 20, you know, 19, 20, 18, 19, 20, somewhere in that river. Anyway, and... <laughs> Me being the the responsible adult, the responsible adult with my sister at this all ages show, uh, I was like, "Hey, Mandy, you want to go crowd surfing?" And so uh, she's like, "Yeah!" And so, and of course, this is something you really could only do at a They Might Be Giants show because of the crowd that's there. Because this is like a very it's a very uh, uh, inviting, a very friendly, kind of like just geeky, you know, silly people crowd. And uh, so, uh, so me and a buddy of mine, we, uh, we lifted her up and she just starts crowd surfing. She just starts going <laughs> and I lose track of her. <laughs> and I'm like, holy crap, where'd she go? Oh, oh, there she is, like way over there. <laughs> Like way up down near the stage, and um, 
I see uh, John Flansburg. He's the guitarist. He's the he's got the goatee and everything now. Uh, the guy with the glasses. Um, he's up there and he's he's playing guitar and he's singing and he's he kind of looks out of the crowd and he's like, wait, is that a little kid crowd surfing? He's like, hey, hey, and he grabs like the you know the, the camera guy who's doing you know he's doing the camera work for the the big projection screens. He grabs the camera and he's like, put the camera on her, put the camera on her, that's cool, that's cool. And here, here's my little sister, ah! <laughs> just crowd surfing <laughs> at this They Might Be Giants concert. And it was, uh, it was brilliant and it was phenomenal. And it's a, it is a story that, uh, that I bring up from time to time. So that's, uh, that's my fun They Might Be Giants story. And that's, uh, that's my fun when I was a kid concert story. Uh, so... <laughs> Uh, I will tell that to her kids one day. I will tell that story to her kids and when they're when they're old enough to understand what's going on and and they're old enough for Uncle Matt to take them to a <laughs> to take them to a concert. <laughs> oh man. So anyway, I appreciate you guys being here. That's uh, I'm, I'm running over time here. I'm actually out of freeway. I'm on the surface roads now and uh, so I'm going to have to end this show, but uh, appreciate y'all being here. I uh, appreciate all the comments that you leave, and appreciate all the support you guys are uh, you guys are showing me. Appreciate all the love. Uh, again, share this with your friends. Give us a thumbs up if you're enjoying this. Um, if you have any ideas for uh, for new shows, for for shows, future shows, uh, leave them down in the doobly doo too. Uh, I will be uh, I'll be looking through there, and if there's a if there's an interesting topic that I see there that you guys want to talk about, by all means, we will. We'll talk about that and uh, we'll bring it up and I appreciate you guys being here really really do it means a lot to me it means the world to me I'm really uh, really trying here trying to build this into a community that we can all enjoy and be proud of and uh, can't do it without you guys can't do it without you so uh, so uh, again thank you thank you very much for being here uh, again share this video uh, share this with your friends on your social medias or share it with your families you know email it you know send it around and um, and um, we're going to uh, we'll be here next week next week at uh, 5 Pacific 5 Pacific time for another freeway forum and uh, again uh, thank you all for being here and until next time tally ho y'all